Hey, it's John and Mike, brew-dudes.com. This is the final video, I think, of 2023, and uh, we're going to do the first pick for 2024 somehow. This is the ninth pick overall. And if you know the program, you know that uh, we have put every single beer style that is listed on the 2015 BJCP standard list of beer styles and uh, what we do at random we put our hand in the jar we pick out a style and that's the beer we have to brew within three or so months and then you know talk about our experience yep. of learning more about it and uh, all the things we did to make the best version of that beer that we can't so how many if we picked out eight well 16 in total there's 400 left <laughs> <laughs> Only, okay. The BJCD. I guess we have to keep doing the show then. <laughs> All right. And like, and hopefully we don't get anything too wacky, but you know, it's the start of 2024. It wouldn't be bad to get something that's like a long term. All right. Let's take a look. Ooh, a low number. Oh, oh. Oh, crap. You can pull that <laughs> off this time of year. True that. It's a good time to get this one. Okay. Let's reveal what it is. It's uh, from the strong Euro beer, European beer. <laughs> category, uh, subcategory is uh, B. This is 9B, uh, Ice Book. <laughs> ice Book. Great. Better you than me. <laughs> That's awesome. That's great. So, first you got to master brewing a great Bach. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. No, this okay. is going to be fun. I, I make, might have to. I don't want to put too much fun because who knows what I'm going to pour yeah. out of here, right? Yeah. Good luck to you. This might be the jar's way of saying, all right, I've been going easy on you guys. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, oh, yes. Okay. I've got, uh, this is in the Czech lager category. Okay. Czech lager. 3D, Czech dark lager. Okay. Perfect time of year for this mm -hmm. one as well, too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, more than happy to give that one a go. I've been drinking some of these lately at a couple of breweries, man. I'm looking forward to giving this Fired a try. Up. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So what do you know about Ice Bar? Oh, geez. I know that there's going to have to be some kind of, um, you know, I'm going to have to, like, kind of distill it, like, a little bit, right? Like, Don't say that on camera. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, I need to, like, you know, freeze. <laughs> <do something. laughs> I mean, we're going to have to yeah. freeze. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're going to yeah. have to freeze yeah. this beer. Oh, don't forget, we've got plenty of refrigeration around yeah, here no. to help make true, this true, true. Happen, Okay, right? okay. Well, if it doesn't get cold enough here in New England, which some... Uh, mm -hmm. <sighs> it's been kind of a warm lead up into winter, yeah. for sure. Um, but, I, you know, it's a strong Bach to start off with. And then you're going <laughs> to have to freeze. I, I love the yeah. idea of freezing beers. And yeah. then you hear, you're like, yeah. you, you open up. Yeah. You, your door, you go outside and you get the bucket and you go and, and you shake it and then you hear like the ice crystals are in there yeah. and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's go time. Yeah, I, I like the idea of being in the bucket to try to say you're going to try to remove 10% of the water volume or something maybe, yeah. who knows, yeah. right? That'll be the challenge, 10, 20% yeah. of the water volume. Who knows? I don't know what the numbers are. I need to do some more research. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I've always thought this would be a cool style to try yeah um but it's one of those things where the uh, timing couldn't be i mean with january february coming up yeah. i mean you might get some cold enough weather you can just do it right out your back door and we'll see yes. we'll see if, if i can but like again it's like one of those things do i have enough of a prediction of the weather yeah. to see if yeah. uh, we're going to get yeah. to sub-zero temperatures for it to make sense yeah yeah i mean you make your bach you age it and you, you lager your bock and, yep. and wait for the right opportunity to freeze Throw it, it. outside <laughs> right out there and hopefully that they'll you know we did have that one day in february last year where uh, it wind chill was uh you know minus 10 degrees fahrenheit yeah, yeah. um I no, I did not leave. That. Nobody in my house left the house that day. That's going to be great. Everybody's going to be in the house because it's like minus ten outside, and you're going to be out there chipping ice away. <laughs> I got, I got, I got this. Like they're going to be like finding me frozen awesome. in the backyard. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, I don't really have, you know, I don't. I think I've brewed a few box in my life, mm -hmm. but the one ice box that um, I've had in my life was at a at a brew fest probably in the seaport of boston yep. and uh th thought it was tremendous yep. it's a very smooth beer you know that it's packing a lot of alcohol warmth on top of it 
Uh, it was a pretty transcendent experience, that's for sure. So uh, a lot to live up to. I'm excited. I'm excited. I just, uh, <laughs> you know, boy. It's going to be great. I, I'm excited, but I'm also. It's a challenge. That's the whole point, a right? It's a challenge. It's a challenge. Yeah. Thanks, Jar. I, Thanks, Jar. All right. Let's well, talk more about your style. <laughs> My easy breezy style. <laughs> yeah, easy breezy. Um, Czech dark style. lager. What I expect from a good Czech dark lager is uh, a, a really crisp, super drinkable, dry lager style, but has a nice like melanoidin, you know, dark malty presence to it. You know, not roasty, just deeper bread-like qualities to it, but in balance though, because it still has to be crisp and dry. It shouldn't drink like a barley wine or something like that. It's not. It's not that kind of maltiness. It's it's a subtle, you know, dark toasted bread maltiness, no. right? No. But also with a nice, being a Czech lager, a really nice, uh, noticeable hop character, like hop, uh, spicy hop bitterness, noble, all noble hops for this one, I think. Um, no more screwing around. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, the, I think the yeast choice will be key here because I'm so used to using dry lager yeast these days that... Mm. I might have to dig into the liquid strains to get something that I deem appropriate for more of like a Czech uh, style. Maybe like the Bud, the Bud, the Bud Vol. Yes, I know what you're saying. Strain yeah. would be yeah. awesome, yeah. right? Um, so yeah. that's probably the right choice to make. Yeah, so. I always find like that uh, that strain in particular really hard to get going yeah. and like give me the the characteristics I'm looking for. So yeah. I would say. Uh, maybe do like a starter beer for sure. Like, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. like even if it's like a small two, three gallon one, yep. just like, and even if you're not going to drink it, at least you get that, you get that uh, second generation of yes, the yeast going. Yeah, that would be huge too. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite commercial examples of this is, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but Notch Brewing. Yes. Out in Salem mm -hmm. makes an excellent version of this. Salem, and if you're not familiar with Notch Brewing here in Massachusetts, they're all like session strength, so four and a half percent or less ABV. Um, and, but they really focus pretty hard on, they do check based loggers really well. Yeah, they do. Right? And, yes. they, and they're also, in the last few years, they've really invested in like proper pouring techniques, different pouring styles of those beers. The so taps, all the taps. that. So yeah. um, anyway, that's a great standard to live up to. Yep. So maybe I can glean some hints from their recipe if they post like the malt bill on, online. Or so. we can always go there if you're ever going to do like you know an exploratory trip or that's something, that's true. We might have to do some research. Yeah, you never yeah. know. All true, right. very true. Maybe on one of those cold days where I'm like you know outside, have to chip some ice. Yeah, we'll I chip in, siphon down some, some beer. <laughs> Drive up, turn on the heater. Let's go. Sweet. All right. Well, jar of destiny. Jar of destiny. Uh, the third year uh, starts now. So. <laughs> I don't know. Let's uh, let's raise a toast to another great year of uh, Brew Dash Dudes, Dudes. videos. Uh, happy uh, Happy New Year to you. Wishing you and yours a prosperous 2024. Um, you know we're gonna keep doing our thing. We've got lots uh, more ideas uh, for uh, videos. We have. Um, you know I've, I've kind of slacked off on the viewer submitted recipes. We've got to get back on that. Yep. And um, certainly we are open to hearing more of your ideas for what we could put together for the coming year. What so, do you want to see? So let us know. Um, thanks so much. Hopefully you've been enjoying the Jar of Destiny series. Uh, hopefully I can survive this particular one. You never know. Um, but I appreciate your watching and, and I'm sure Mike does too. Uh, so leave a comment below. Uh, like this video if you like it. Subscribe to our channel because we do this kind of thing every single week. For John and Mike, brew-dudes.com. Brew on. Cheers.